Okay, so first thing I want to do is go into my GitHub. In my repositories tab, I'm going to create a new repository. This will be called Amazon clone-yt. This is so we can have a repository and deploy it onto the web when we have completed. So what I want to do is copy this and clone the repository. So in my folder structure, in my terminal, I want to type in ls to see what directory I am in. And I want to go into my YouTube folder, which is here. So cd space YouTube. So change directory into my YouTube and do ls again. So I have a few projects in here. So what I want to do is clone this repository. So to do that, we do git space clone and then paste in the URL that we have just copied and press enter. So what we have done is cloned an empty repository. So it's connected with this GitHub repository over here. Now what we want to do is initialize the project. So to initialize the project, I'm just going to bring in the code. So it is mpx create next app. And we want to install style components for the styles on this build. So we do dash dash example with styled components and then the project name. So the name is going to be Amazon clone dash YT. So if I press enter, this will then install all of the dependencies. So install style components for me and the Next.js project. This will also have TypeScript installed also as it comes default with Next.js now. The fetching of the data with GraphQL will be client side. So we won't be using any server side rendering in this build, such as get server side props, get static paths and get static props. Okay, so now that that has built, we need to go into the project and then open it up in our Visual Studio Code editor. So if you just type in CD Amazon dash clone dash YT and press enter, and then I want to open the VS code. So I type in code space dot and enter. This has now opened the repository for me. Okay, so now what I want to do is close this window as we don't need it anymore. And then if we expand our code and our browser, like so. So now what I want to do in my VS code is create a new terminal in here and we have a yarn lock file installed. So we will be using yarn also in this build. So all I want to do to run the project is yarn run dev, press enter. This now has started the server for us on localhost 3001. So if I command and click through, we now have our completed project and our new project side by side. What I'm also going to do is just close my GitHub repository for this we, as we don't need it anymore. The reason I've used Next.js instead of React is just simply because in pages, if we add a new page in here, it does all of the routing for us. So I will explain this later on. And also we have the next image component, which optimizes the image further for us. So now if we go into our root file, so the app.tsx, in here we have a theme provider, we have global styles from coming from style components, and then the rest of our app is within here. So this is a higher order component that wraps around our app. We will then be able to access all of the styles. So in this case, we have a primary and secondary color that we will update later on. And we can then access that at the component level. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in the theme colors for Amazon and replace them with the primary and secondary. So if I just paste them in, we have a black, white, background, orange, and a nav background. So all I want to do is save, and then TypeScript will bring up an error saying black does not exist on type primary string and secondary string. So what we need to do is update the default theme also. So essentially these five colors are strings. So we need to define them as well. So if I command and click through to default theme in here, all we need to do is paste in the theme colors and this will be a string of for black and all of them will be a string actually. So if we just paste them in and now save, and if we go in back into our app.tsx, we can see now there are no errors being shown in here. Also the homepage will be the index.tsx. So if we go into that, I want to remove this boilerplate code in here. So everything from the head to the main, we can delete like so. And now if I save, nothing will be rendered on the page as we have nothing there. So if I rendered a P tag saying home page and save, we can see here we have the home page being rendered. The way the pages and routing works in Next.js is quite simple. If we do a forward slash on the end of the URL and then we type in the page name. So if we go in the about component, for example, we have the about page. So if I went to forward slash and then 
about like so. We can see here the about page is being rendered and this component is showing. So if I click go back into our home page, and I'm also going to delete the about page as we're not using it in this build. So we can delete that. And back in our home page, we need to configure some styles. So in our components, we have a shared styles folder. So if we go in here, we have a few default components, which is cards, global styles, and shared styles. First of all, I'm going to delete the cards as we don't need that component. And then what I'm also going to do is at my package JSON level, I'm going to create a new folder. And this is going to be called styles which is where we will have all our styles in. But if I move our global styles in here and update the imports along with the shared styles as well, and now have the error of import cards from cards, we're not using that, so we can delete that one. And we don't need these other tags in for now, so we can delete them. And if I go into my global styles, we can see here that the color for the body is the primary color. What we want to do is change all of the color of the text in our body to black. So if we do theme.colors.black, what this is actually doing is it's actually accessing the theme, which is in our app.tsx over here. We're accessing the theme that is wrapping our app to all together. And then we are accessing the theme.colors.black. So going back into my global styles over here, we have changed the color to black. And I'm also going to add the background color as well. So if we go in our body and we're going to have a background color of theme.colors.background like so. What I also want to do is have some shared styles in here. So if I bring in my shared styles from my completed build, I paste them in here. So essentially we have a container, a main, title, description, and Amazon button also, which we will use later on. So that's this yellow button that is used in here and also in the checkout component as well. Okay, so now that's the folder structure and project set up. What we want to do now is build the header component and we will do that next.